Hey guys, Stan here, back with another guitar lesson. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to play roulette by System of a Down. As always, I highly recommend you play along either with the original track or I'll put a link in the description to my version of the song. Before we get started, let's make sure we have our guitars tuned correctly. So for this song, it's going to be tuned in drop C. So the notes are as follows, starting with the top string. C. G. C. F, A, and D. All right, now that we're tuned up, let's get to the main section. So most of the song is going to be dealing with an interval called a tenth chord. And what that is, is that's either a major third or a minor third that's an octave up from the root. And what that sounds like is this. What they're going to do is move that around the scale, and that's how they compose the song. So there's two shapes I want you guys to get familiar with. There's a major and a minor 10th um, chord. So we're going to do both these examples in the, the key of D. So let's start with the 5th fret of the 5th string with your index finger. And let's start with the 6th fret of the 2nd string with your pinky finger. And this is the minor version of that. Um, just get familiar with that interval. Um, when you're picking that, I tend to use my thumb and my middle finger. Um, some people might do a hybrid picking. Um, with the pick on the bottom and then your middle finger on top. I just find finger styles a little bit easier to control um, what it sounds like. So here's the minor 10th chord we're going to be playing. And then if we want to make that major, we're just going to shift that top string up from the 6th fret to the 7th fret. And those are going to be the two most common shapes that we're going to play through this song. So to learn the main section, uh, I'm just going to show you where the chords are at, and then we'll talk about the picking pattern here. So the first one is going to be a minor 10th chord, um, starting on the 5th fret of the 5th string, the shape we just went over. The second chord you're going to hit is going to be a major 10th, so we're going to move it from the 5th fret to the 8th fret of the 5th string, and then again we're going to make it into that major shape. The third chord is going to move down to the C or the third fret of the fifth string, and it again is a major tenth. And then here's where they're going to switch keys on you. Um, then the next shape is going to move up to the sixth fret, and it's also going to be a major tenth. And then it turns. Um, if you go down to the first fret of the fifth string, you do a major tenth chord and then up to the third fret, same shape. So I'll play that slowly and then we're gonna talk about the picking pattern of that. So for the picking pattern, you're going to alternate between your thumb and the middle finger or if you wanna use the pick and the middle finger. I'm gonna play it slowly, but it's just alternating um, between those chords. So you start with the 5th string in your thumb. Again, I'm not playing exactly like the record, and if you notice on my version, I'm doing some mutes in there. Make this your own, you know, feel the groove that you want to feel, but that's the general shape. So the next section we're going to go into is the chorus, and again, it's going to be using those same 10th chords. So I'll just show you the chords, and it's going to be a very similar picking pattern there. So the first chord, again, is going to be that D minor 10th, so on the 5th fret. And then we're going to introduce a new chord here, and this is an A major 10th. It's an open fifth string and then the second fret of the second string. And what you can do is you can actually play the top string open with that, so it'll sound like this. And then it moves back up to that C major tenth, third fret, and then down to the B flat, and then back up to the C. So I'll play that slowly.
Something I do like to do for those chords on the chorus, just to fill it up a little bit, um, when you're going to those C and that B flat chord, I'll, I'll add a, a few extra notes in the chord as an example for the C. Um, instead of just playing the major 10th, you could also throw in the 5th string of the 3rd fret. Gives it a little bit more body. Or if you're feeling a little bit saucy, um, you can actually bar the 3rd fret of the 3rd string there. Gives it more of a dominant 7th feel. And then I'll do the same thing um, for the B flat. Again, it just adds a little bit more body if you want to fill out the sound a little bit. As a bonus, I'll show you guys what that string line is that I play in my version. You'll hear it on the, the main record. Um, I play it as just an octave. The shape for an octave is going to look like, um, kind of like your standard power chord, but you're just muting the middle note. So you start with a D octave, fifth string, fifth fret, seventh fret, uh, third string. Then it goes up to the 7th fret of the 4th string, and then the 10th fret of the 2nd string. And then you just move that down 2 frets. And then the turn on that is the you're walking up the D minor scale, so it's a D. Let's talk about the solo. So in the solo, it's a it's a cool little harmony line that they run. Um, I'm going to show you guys the scale first, and then I'll play it slowly, and you can just play along with it. So the solo is going to be played in D minor, and the scale, um, if you don't know it, uh, it starts on the 12th fret of the 4th string, you move to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, then the 12th fret, then you move up to the 2nd string and play the 10th fret. Then the 11th fret, then the 13th fret, then move up to the, the first string and play on the 10th fret, 12th fret, 13th fret, and then you can actually go up to the 15th. So now I'm going to play the solo really slowly in those notes, and I want you guys to follow along. All right, so we're going to start on the 10th fret of the first string, and I'll play it slowly for you. So for the turn, they're going to do these double stops in just the key of D minor. So the, the four chords or four double stops are going to be um, the 12th fret of the third string and the 11th fret of the second string. And then you slide that down to a barred, the same two strings, but on the 10th fret. And then you go back to that um, previous shape. So then it's the um, ninth fret of the third string and the eighth fret of the um, second string. And then that slides down um, two frets. So in context, it'll sound like this. The second part of the solo is a harmony that's a um, third above the original line. Exact same scale. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the frets that you're going to play for that. You start the scale that we're going to play from on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. Then you go to the 12th, then the 14th, and then you're going to move up to the 2nd string and play the 11th fret, and then the 13th fret, 15th, 17th, and then you're going to move to the 1st string and play the 13th fret, 15th, 17th, and 18th. So the harmonizing solo starts on the 13th fret of the top string, and I'm going to play it slowly through all those notes. Just try to play along.
And that's it. That's all the parts of Roulette. It's a pretty straightforward song. It's going to follow that typical verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, and then outro. Um, I highly recommend, again, you play along with either the original track um, or you can play along with me in my version of that. But that'll just get you familiar with the structure, help you guys on your time, feel, and rhythm. Again, this gives you kind of the framework for how to play it, but I really recommend you make it your own. So again, good luck and thanks for stopping by.